Jones. Or, or just that based on um, the fact that the planning staff have reviewed this um, preliminary plan uh, extensively and is, is finding that uh, recommending approval of it, um, including the uh, cluster, uh, the cluster subdivision findings. I don't know that we uh, have information that would preclude or throw out what they have done. And I would certainly uh, not be recommending disapproval based on that. Well, it. Go ahead. It, it does seem that the, the requirements for cluster development in many cases are the minimal. Um, when, you, when you look through the list. And so I don't think it's, if you're minim, minimally making the uh, requirements and, you know, ag again, we're tasked, I mean, the, the, the zoning ordinance is tasks us to make sure that it is superior. And uh, I just don't think it can reach, I don't think it reaches that threshold. Mr. Chair, if I may. Yes, Mr. Uh, McDonald. I frankly kind of like what they've done with the, um, with the forest conservation. I, I, the old plan sort of had little tiny clusters of forest conservation to make up for all what they needed. And now it, it strikes me that this is sort of protected and, and there's a nice buffer all the way around this thing. And it just, um, it seems like a f efficient use of a piece of property to me. Uh, and uh, I, I don't know that I could go with um, disapproval either. Uh, I, I, I like how creative you were really with the flag lots. Or, I'm sorry you call them now what? Panhandle lots? Mm -hmm. um, I, I, don't, I don't see an issue with it. it if I may. Sure, go right I don't know if it'll address um, the concern. But I would say that um, as far as the superior design criteria, which you're gonna hear a lot about that on in all your cluster subdivisions, um, I, it, I believe that that's a guideline and we all try to do the best we can to come to an agreement with staff on what is considered superior. I believe the only, I'll say disagreement was, I don't even know if it was a disagreement, um, but staff was suggesting we have an interior uh, loop, so to speak, with a, with a hiker biker path. I, on the other hand, looked at it that um, if folks want to utilize the open space, um, that there, there's plenty of open space. I wouldn't want to limit it to them in the interior on one specific loop. I looked at it that a more appropriate design would be to try to do some type of interparcel connection, a pedestrian interparcel connection. Of course, this is all private property around here. So I put the hiker biker, not the hiker biker, but the walking trail, the nature trail, basically along the road frontage and kept part of it, if not most of it, in the forest conservation easement. And it would be my idea that rather than create a paved path of some type, to kind of create a nature trail with some signage for wildlife, um, we've done that. Um, this is far, far above anything that you would have seen if it was a, just a standard 17 lot conventional subdivision. Um, most of our subdivisions in the last 10 to 15 years, the whole push is to try to get the forest conservation off the lots so that the individual homeowners don't have the opportunity to cut down trees in the forest conservation easement. Um, here, all the forest conservation is on the open space off the lots, so they, they can't go cut the trees down in the open space. Um, we, we have um, provided other, what I would believe or consider uh, uh, you know, superior design. This particular neighborhood, instead of having individual mailboxes, we're gonna have kind of a central location up near the water tank where there'll be a, a sitting area some benches, it'll be the bus stop area. Um, although the, the cul-de-sac is large enough for buses and emergency vehicles, there'll be a bus stop, bus stop area up front with um, the cluster mailboxes there also. Um, again, far and above what the conventional 17 lots would have done. Um, 
these lots will have to do ESD to the MEP, the conventional lots would not have. Um, there's a lot more forest conservation here than there was on the other plan. Um, I, I, I would offer that this is a far superior design than the conventional. I think it's one of, one of the more superior that I've seen come across this body um, since I've been on here. And I think it's, a, it's a very, very good in protecting the environmental steep slopes and stream valleys. Thank you. All right, further discussion.